Welcome to Johnny Arcade. I am your host, Johnny Arcade. Welcome, welcome back. If you're returning, please hit like, share, subscribe. If you haven't already, helps with the algorithms. Uh, hit the notification bell so that you get updated with all the latest readings and content. You can check the uh, description box below for a couple links. One is for free casualties of rhythm music. One is for the casualties of rhythm casual clothing shop if you want to get, check out the merch. Show support that way. And one is for the Amazon wish list if you want to contribute a deck or something to the channel that I can use in the videos that would be fantastic got a few other things on there too harmonicas and whatnot any and all contributions are always greatly appreciated never expected I just appreciate you guys for coming through getting the message seeing what spirit has to tell you at this time okay God, please and thank you. Judgment in reverse. Ace of Cups. Seven of Swords in reverse. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This Ace of Cups, I mean, this is a very positive card, okay? I mean, this is emotions, this is strong emotional intelligence, empathic, uh, generous, fulfilled, you know, cup overflowing, at peace, you even got the Dove in there with the Eucharist, it's like the wine, body and blood of Christ there. I'm strongly getting Christ consciousness here. But the king or the knight of pentacles in reverse. It's like he's not he doesn't do what he's doing for financial benefit. You know? Dude's gotta eat, so you know, he like makes stuff out of wood, you know. Then you've got judgment in reverse. He doesn't care how you judge him. Well, he cares. He wishes you would join him on his journey. He doesn't shove it down your throat, but he's definitely there to let you know why he's there, right? Without really making a big deal out of it. But he tells... Comes across certain people at pivotal moments of their life, right? And we got the seven of swords in reverse and like I'm getting like Judas right this is like Judas like stealing the swords while the swordsmen are asleep type of thing it looks like he's sneaky right getting away but it's like he knows there are Judas Judas uh, Judas's Judai Judai Judas I <laughs> around him in his uh, in his circle it is what it is. He, he doesn't let that stop his cup from overflowing with, again, God's source. I mean, there's a giant cloud with that hand sticking out. It's because he already knows. He is. He's whole. He's Jesus. <laughs> Yeshua. Excuse me. Got high priestess here. Underneath that Ace of Cups, what's that represent? Is this a strong feminine and like a Christ consciousness energy? The Tower to this High Priestess. 
Oh, this could be like a dark high priestess. This could be like a dark witch or something. But before I say for sure, let me get some more cards. This could be what this Christ consciousness is up against. This dark high priestess, the tower. We've got the chariot in reverse. We got tower. Chariot in reverse. So whatever this high priestess is doing has come to a complete end. There is absolutely no movement. It's lost all its strength. The hermit in the world in reverse. The star upright. The star again. I'm getting, you know, like Christmas star. You know? That kind of does totally look like the freaking star above the manger that the wise men followed I'm gonna put that right there got the hermit and the world in reverse someone is I'll pull more cards but it's like someone's definitely in isolation and maybe they're not comfort it's like out of their comfort zone that's not what they like they like to be around people maybe they like to be that star or there's a star in isolation at this time probably ear itching confirmation when I was thinking again whatever this Christ consciousness figure is there's no real telling if there's masculine or feminine because one cups if anything is feminine but there's no like female cards up here if that makes sense then we've got uh, down here that high priestess so I feel like this high priestess energy can be anyone up against this Christ consciousness energy but again I feel like that's the star remember I even said the Christmas star the whole reason behind that is right the birth of Jesus but I don't not necessarily mean December 25th but the son of man you know <laughs> that whole story Moon in reverse, it's like secrets, deceit, betrayal, lies, confusion. So we've got betrayal, lies, confusion, heartache and pain, stabbed in the heart, stabbed in the back, but like feeling it, you know what I mean? And then walking away from what no longer serves you, cups, a bunch of empty cups. Someone's in the fields right now. Someone. This is what I call healing. <laughs> if they choose to acknowledge it as healing. Wheel of Fortune. Look at this. Wheel of Fortune. Look, <laughs> you can't make this up. Two of Pentacles. Finding that balance in this uncomfortable situation as they sit. And this could be someone who drank a lot. I mean, look. Could have gave up on drinking, maybe fell off the wagon, went back to drinking. This is like God offering you a different cup. <laughs> Those ones didn't work out for you. Drink from this cup. Drink from this cup up here. It's free. You drunk for, you drink from this cup, you will never thirst. That made me laugh. <laughs> went to mass. It was a few weeks ago when we, we went for um, what was it? Oh, it was my parents. Uh, I think it was our anniversary. And uh, my sister, my brother-in-law, the whole gang met up with us, and it was so funny. Me and my sister sat next to each other, <laughs> and uh, we do the you know. We do the bread, and then we do the. They're doing the wine again. So we're, <laughs> it's a big church. There's a lot of people there, but there's like literally six chalices with six different ministers to like go to. <laughs> and uh, of course, the one I go to, like it's my turn for the wine, blood of Christ, and like Amen. And I went to drink out of it, and like I'm looking at, like I'm putting it up to my mouth, and. It's like empty, and there's like <laughs> one little drop, like <laughs> like the backwash from 
everyone before me. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, like I'm just like putting a a a, a hedge of protection around me so I don't catch anything from this. And I'm like literally like trying to get the last drop to just like fall into my mouth. I'm not even I didn't even like put my mouth on it and um <laughs> But my sister's behind me and she was gonna get the line too and uh i go to the pew and i'm like man that's weird like as i'm walking back i'm like 42 years of my life and i've never like not had like who's who's chugging and of course i sit down and uh my sister starts laughing and pinching me and she's like of course for the first time in my life i go behind you to get the wine and you drink, you drink it all. <laughs> like, I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. It was already empty. <laughs> so that's the new that's the new joke. That's the new fun joke. John drink all John drink all the <laughs> And then we sat there and watched her with the lady who was the wine. It was like she's not, <laughs> you never run out of wine. When have they ever ran out of wine? And so, <laughs> and so she's like covering it with her hand so that like... <laughs> and she's just like standing there. She didn't know what to do. She didn't know where to go. <laughs> for her laughing. She's like... She's also... The, <laughs> has never had that happen before. <laughs> Only me, man. <laughs> Only fucking me. <laughs> And I was like, it's empty. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> and then when she told, so yeah, there's a lot of hard work. It's been a lot. <laughs> Again, this could have been, um, I don't mean to laugh. Someone's definitely going through their feels. I'm not laughing at them. They could have been doing a lot of hard work. Again, against this Christ figure or someone trying to achieve that. Again, this star, whoever this is, the... The person that they have way too much energy attached to. Whether it's jealousy, they wish they could be them, they wish they were them, they wish they had their blessings. Again, a high priestess, who normally I would look at as like a divine femme. But with the chariot in reverse, the world in reverse, the strength in reverse, all that crap that came with it. Queen of Wands in reverse. Four of Swords. Seven of Cups in reverse. I feel like someone has. So this is like confusion or like too much to focus on. I feel like during meditation, again, someone could be in Hermit right now, probably getting a lot of rest, well deserved rest, much needed rest. And it's like things are becoming clear about this Queen of Wands. How they've been kind of maybe misguiding, being have been misguided by this Queen of Wands. Again, the Queen of Wands in reverse could be that High Priestess is what I'm picking up. Something about it's is this Queen of Wands, this Six of Pentacles? like their source the magician in reverse hmm let me get one more card on that before I say for sure so it's like I, I, get, I get like someone could be paying for spell work and the spell work ain't working <laughs> no I feel like this is uh Although that has been an energy that's been coming up a lot. No, I feel like someone's getting paid for good reason to come up, stand against this dark magic that's been going on. They're like fighting it head on. I'm getting like medieval shit. Like think about Warcraft or um, any of that stuff. Game of Thrones when you've got men fighting against beasts, you know, creatures, um, wizards, you know, um, 
necromancers and all that. I feel like someone is stepping up, fighting whatever spell work from the Queen of Wands, High Priestess has been throwing at you. Knight of Swords. Yeah, I think someone's coming in hot with some truth. Okay, let's do a top, top of the deck. Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay, so. <laughs> I was going to split the deck and just move on to the next thing thing. But look at this. So this Knight of Swords. Is it Knight of Swords? Yes, this Knight of Swords. Is either... Has a distorted view on family because of the pain they've been through. Or because of the pain they've been through, they're fighting for their family. Who might not even have their back. Or he's fighting for another family. Something about speaking truth after having a lot of nightmares, pain. Again, this person could be in isolation, going through meditation figuring out what they've been confused by whether they were just in a state of ignorance cognitive dissonance um, or if it was spell work if it was mind control if it was groomed and programmed into this person by the way they were raised or whatever whatever the nightmares they've been having has been giving them clarity about maybe their what they thought was a happy home or what they thought was normal. They were groomed to think it was normal. Those cups are all empty, they're upside down, they're empty. Like a family dynamic. And then we've got the Knight of Swords, like he's pissed. And he's gonna tell you how pissed he is. He's gonna tell you how pissed he is. Is this guy telling the truth? Like, or is he lying? Queen of Cups. Is he crying wolf? Is he telling the truth? So we have the Queen of Cups, right? We have the King of Wands. I often see that when they come out together like that, I take it as like a divine couple or a, a, it's like definitely a couple, whether they're married or they're together. Not necessarily twin flames or anything, but I feel like these are, because um, you know, you, you got the cups and stuff, that's the emotion, the caring, the nurturing, the wand is like taking action. So it's like, the divine masculine, divine feminine, whether this could even be one person who's just balanced with, you know, he doesn't make his moves based on emotion. He takes things into consideration and then makes accurate moves. But now look. Walking away from this devil energy that's, it's like that spell, all those things. Remember, chariot in reverse? Magician in reverse. Let me move some of this. Strength in reverse. World in reverse. Remember all that? From the High Priestess. All in reverse. The devil in reverse. It's caused this person to turn away from those who were serving this guy. Right? Not looking out for this dude. Whoever that guy who's screaming on that thing on the, with the swords. But this is surrounding... Or this came up with the Queen of Cups and the King of Wands. Again, with this whole Jesus thing, I'm almost getting like Joseph and Mary. You know? Mary and Joseph see the attachment or whatever being lifted from. It's like if Jesus was possessed, spells casted on him from witches. You know, something like, like, let's, 
if they redid Jesus' story like they always do for like a Netflix. They wanted to spice it up, make it fun. What if a bunch of witches casted spells over Jesus and he was like possessed and then they had to have him exercised, get rid of that devil, see what he was up against. These were the wishes of Joseph and Mary. It's almost like, what if they didn't think or know that he was Jesus? Maybe they didn't believe and they just had Jesus, right? They ignored the signs when the angel came to Mary and told her. She thought she was just on a good one that day or something. Or Joseph didn't believe her. You know, now I'm strongly getting when Jesus had John the Baptist baptize him. in reverse. Let's put the Ten of Cups in reverse, Nine of Cups in reverse. That guy kind of looks like a uh, Pharisee. Justice. So whatever again whatever's taking place here that hasn't been bueno <laughs> is uh, there's going to be justice. Now we'll split the deck. With death comes new life, but we've got eight of wands and death. I feel like there's a lot of endings coming. All are, again, all these things, all these attacks, the cups or to turn this person away from the justice right mm -mm. God wins in this situation folks so we've got let's we'll cut these I don't like fat stacks let's let's uh, distribute them to the uh, break it down so we can feed more mouths. We've got King of Pentacles here, King of Swords. Wow. Reveal. So the Justice, again, that could be that Knight of Swords who's been kicking and screaming, like, about that feminine, maybe? Announcing what's been going on. Talking about the demonic possession that's over this Christ child or Christ energy being. This is really, this represents to me, like, Everybody has that opportunity at any moment to start walking in those footsteps, right? At any moment, you can make that choice to change the way you do things, you know? And when you do, that's when you're truly saved. Like, I feel like there's a lot of people that fear being saved because they like their unhealthy attachments and addictions, but this dude speaking the truth though is going to bring him abundance, I'll tell you that. And it's going to, look, this Queen of Pentacles whoever that person was that was causing all this nightmares is going to have their own nightmares they're losing their fortune that's probably where the money's going to come from but you're going to find out soon you've been working hard at this it's like no reward or again you could have just lost everything going through this whoever is resonating with this but um 
something's being kept from you too, money-wise. And that's going to be revealed soon. And underneath this, I peeked the Ace of Swords in reverse. Lies, you know what I mean? That's why you're in that position. I'm surprised I don't see the Five of Pentacles out here, but... King of Pentacles, King of Swords is out here. You saw with the Death and the Eight of Wands. Again, this is all coming to an end. Let's stargaze. How about that? shift of energy here tonight plus I usually do my readings like in the day that could contribute it to it too it is 12 well saw 11 because on my laptop it's Cali time which is 10 1 p.m. at the time that I'm recording this and uh, but 12 1 Texas, but that's why I leave it off on my laptop because you need different numbers. But yeah, it was 1001 just now. It still is. But yeah, 12 on the money when I started to look. When I acknowledge the energies. So see, like right now, at this time, I don't know about, to, well, maybe tonight, because it's Saturday, it's the Sabbath. Tomorrow's Sunday. They really like the sun. I love the sun, but they like, take it to another level. They'll do stuff at witching hour between 12, and 3 o'clock in the morning, which I'm ahead of these guys in Cali, here in Texas, and on the East Coast. There's already fools doing rituals and shit, sacrifices, sacrifices, sweet dreams. They're doing meditations, sex rituals, sex rituals. Too much mumbo jumbo. Yeah, all kinds of all kinds of bullshit. <laughs> Again, remember all that confusion, the, the eight of wands. The, you name it. Yes, they do it. The voodoo. They're setting shit on fire, probably setting money on fire, setting money on fire, weighed in the water. That's what I'm here to tell y'all. And that's 69, that's yin yang. See, they're gonna take the 69 and laugh, and uh, it is funny, but they'll be like, oh, 69, huh? But no, it's like, no. It's yin yang. It's balancing out. Oh, your mumbo jumbo sweet dreams because the weight in the water we've got newfound glory up here help me obi-wan kenobi you're my only hope <laughs> use logic calculated yeah think about it all these lies, it's like, this must be hard to keep track of all the lies, is all I'm saying, you know? Goodbye, moving on. Yeah, it's, <laughs> they need to use logic. They need to realize it's over. Ooh, this came out, I didn't even see. Higher ground, holding it down. See, they don't even, <laughs> it's like the sniper in the building across the street, ready to freaking take out anyone who tries to get all, tries to get all terrorists. I hope that doesn't get the video kicked off. I hope <laughs> We're all thinking that no more pain, no more pain. And God's gonna make sure of it. Like I said, he's the sniper. He's got the, ro the rods of God. <laughs> aimed right at the direct energy weapons 
doing right at you. You got the do. Do process. Direct energy weapon. <laughs> We've got childhood memories. Uh oh. What now? Sweet dreams, childhood memories. What now? It's another six. We got 66. We got six, seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's fun. I was like, we just need a three because there's a two out here, and then the card I saw in my hand. Unreal, no help was in my hand. Yeah, you're all alone in this. I know, you had a bunch of people backing you up that you were lying to, probably. Bad news bears. <laughs> you should have just been honest. Like, you're not even honest with the people who you're dishonest, who, you, who you're being honest about being dishonest about. You're even dishonest to the... Jeez, there's no loyalty among thieves, I guess. Must be just from the storybooks. <laughs> All right. Employee mindset. Pay your debt. Payback. <laughs> yeah, these are people who think that they're leaders and bosses. <laughs> they might even literally be like, Leaders and bosses, presidents of companies, CEOs. With employee mindsets. Still paying for like fuel and packaging and shipping and not writing it off as you know, cost of doing business, writing it off as freight, writing it off as Packaging, whatever. Travel expenses. Super bitch oblivious. That's the Queen of Swords. So we got this King of Pentacles with an employee mindset. Again, he's got money. He's he's in a bunch of debt that he needs to pay back. And this super oblivious bitch, Queen of Swords, this girl just like yelling at this dude about this, or she might be the reason why he's in debt. She's like, give me more money. And he's like, don't you wonder, you have all the money. I can't give you any more money. <laughs> you need to work harder. I did work harder and you got all that money too. <laughs> we got a new love here. We got a new love. Trapped, fear of unknown, broke as a joke. No more pain, only gain. Defeated, you lose. Geez, how many came out? Family. What does that say? I wrote like over the things, so. Family support, soul tribe. And that was itching confirmation. That came out literally out of nowhere. Like I need to sneeze. So family support. Soul Tribe, defeated, you lose. No more pain, just gain. And now I clearly see three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack, Queen, King. Broke as a joke, another four. Trapped, fear of unknown. That's over there by that death. Broke as a joke, so there by the Eight of Wands again. This is what they were. If you're broke, it's because they were sending you like poverty spells, lack spells. Like I said, they could have been burning money in a bowl. Like when I said that, cards were flying out. Remember? New love, though. There's a new love. Let me get more on this new love. Hold on. I want to do this Astro deck just so we can differentiate. A lot of those cards are already out. I can roll some dice too if we want to get some initials or names or anything. But there's a new love coming in. It's the two of cups. Of 
parts. Can we get some more of this new love here, please? And thank you, Spirit. Yeshua, if you could chime in too, help us out with this since your name came up a few times. Bummed out, childish behavior, buster vibes. Okay, well we have a new love coming in, so don't worry about the old Buster Douglas. Mysterious, loving, accepting, that's what we're talking about. You might even get like a quick um, see how that popped out? It was like, now that you're in this new level, upgraded, whatever, right? Someone might try to come in and rush in. Um, to pay attention. Use your new gifts, your new tools to sniff out that thing. Because I have a feeling it's not for you. So there might be <clears throat> a new love option, connection, uh, temptation coming in just play it safe you know don't ding in confirmation play it safe don't jump into it too quickly don't not give it a chance but don't jump into it too quickly because right after that there's going to be someone who that person may have appeared to come off as okay your opposition knows a lot about you so they're going to send in these characters it's a soap opera fucking actors to try to be that best version of the, your counterpart should you be looking for one, right? And then we're taught and forced to find that best version of ourselves so that we can be that best version of ourselves for the best version of the person we're supposed to be. You know what I mean? And that keeps fucking happening. So what I'm getting is we're so close. But there's a new love coming in. Careful on that new love coming in because... And it might come and go just as quickly as we saw it. We, we, we paid it a little attention. I didn't want to just ignore it altogether. It was sticking out like a sore thumb. So we, we gave it a look-see and it wasn't what we wanted. It was a Buster Douglas. One of those people, we all have one in our, in our friends group, in our family who just, when they're around, it's like you get a flat tire. The windows broke in your car. The fucking motor breaks in your car. It's like, you know, the party you went to is is canceled, or the cops roll up, or you know, you just the Buster, Buster Douglas. Okay. I had a few of my, a few of them in my life, but someone mysterious, loving, and and accepting of you and all your wounds. They're, they're oh, just behind the corner of that other person, so be careful. Charismatic, creative, that's what I'm fucking talking about, yo. So we got, look at this. Are you charismatic and creative in a, in a feminine energy? Or are you a masculine who's mysterious, loving, and accepting of women? Whatever, you know, or you just... Look. Got the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. By this new love. Now, we mentioned earlier that that other... The Queen of Cups and the King of Wands was like... No, it's not a twin flame. That was like the married... That's like the parental vibes. This is like twin flame right here. This new love... So the Queen of Wands, again, they're both wands together, they're going to build an empire. We've got, ooh, wild card, we've got darkness. This is the moon in reverse. Darkness. Let's pull out a couple more cards, hold on. I mean, through the darkness, yeah, you guys are gonna find new love because you're gonna be, again, the best versions of yourself. Is that what this darkness is? Is like. Going through the, the healing. Wow. Whoa. So. <laughs> so y'all know poker, right? So. The suits, like the queens, the kings, the jack. Those are all ten, right? The ace is eleven. 
Y'all know the 144K in the Bible, right? We got aces or what? 11s and 1s. 144. End of a relationship. Okay, so I said what's up with this darkness, right? So you might have been in a bad relationship. <laughs> Again, lies, deceit, betrayal, uh, stillness, mental power. What did I say? By that isolation could have been having broken up from whatever connection this was in. That dark high priestess energy, right? And so since that's ended, you've had time to isolate, reflect. Again, you went through some painful shit, a lot of confusion, but a lot of making sense of what might have not have made sense before. And things that you thought made sense, like have a whole new meaning now that you have this new information. You know, the healing. The, the awareness of what has been going on around you this whole time has caused the stillness is allowed you to gain your mental power, gain your strength, premature, start over, celebrated too soon. Is that what it felt like with like your most recent relationship? Again, that could have been that one that remember that snuck out and then we put it back because it was Buster Douglas, right? It was like you were almost ready, you were almost healed and then you, and you thought you were healed enough. You went out as your new you you were attracting like crazy laws of attraction. You're just glowing. You're blowing. Your aura is just emanating out of you like butterfly wings, angel wings. Everyone's coming to you as they love you. They can just feel your energy. They love your energy. And then you were disappointed again. The person who was bulletproof. No snare of the fowler, yo. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And it didn't. But it left you in disappointment again. It left you like, I thought, no weapon. What the fuck is this spear <laughs> right here? Well, hello, wake up. It used to pierce you in the heart. Now it's just in a fatty tissue part of your body. You can just rip that shit out, sprinkle some alcohol on there, throw on a Band-Aid, some Neosporin. You might have to stitch it up depending on how deep you allowed it to pierce you because you let your guard down, right? You, you're like, I don't need the spiritual armor. No weapon, no schmeppin, hot stepping, you know? So you were premature, yo, premature. Just weren't ready to come out of the incubator quite yet. It's okay though. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> A little premature, just get cleaned up and try again, start over. <laughs> You celebrated too soon. <laughs> oh goodness, someone's being led by, again, temptation, lust, or that's what it was. Lust lured you in, you fell for it. It's okay, that's, that one, that relationship is over. Or as soon as it's over, again, you're gonna find your charismatic, creative, mysterious, loving, accepting, new love, okay? So when we say open up to receiving, how can you open up to receive your new love if you're still dealing with this karmic, right? Get out of town, yo. You might need to get out of town. Let's see. Might be time for that road trip. Hop on a train or a plane or an automobile or whatever. Especially since the karmic won't be traveling for a little while now. Someone should be. Yeah, you could have, I'm telling you, that premature start over, they could have said all the fucking things. Oh, they're spiritual. Oh, chakra this, chakra that. I love mountains. Yeah. Yeah, Tai Chi Gong, yeah. Right? <laughs> telling you what you want to hear. Ruin, rock bottom, melodrama. Yeah, it's just another, it was just another drama queen or king right more of the same just dressed up differently this one was wearing a robe or something 
healthy, beneficial, loving. Was that you? The wellness card? <laughs> Were you the little koala? Someone could have tried to get you to catch something too. You know, koalas are where chlamydia came from. Just letting you know. Watch your back. Bullies. Party pooper. That's that Buster Douglas. Again, I feel like we're getting to the end of the relationship with that. But um, or that person could be hitting rock bottom. You're going to be off. Again, improving your health. Being beneficial and loving to yourself kind to yourself and others and see people they see that you're like that and they want to have that all to themselves and bottle you up and keep their little precious your precious you can't have my precious right fucking golems and shit and we all know golem is not it's not what he looks like that's what he turned into after being consumed by his obsession with the ring right the one ring to rule them all. Wow, now... It... I'm telling y'all. I'm t Hit like, hit subscribe, please. Just do us all a favor, myself included, and hit subscribe and hit like. Hit the thumb. Hit the thumb. Because... <laughs> Ace 33 now. Ace 33, so if we made that 11, and then 33, we could make it 44, which is 8, which is... I know, I lost you at hello, or welcome, lost you at welcome to Johnny Arcade. <laughs> End of the pain. So again, that 144, that was the that last relationship, probably was a test to see your new 144K powers. What? How did you handle it? Did you come out unscathed? That flesh wound from the the spear in your fatty tissue. I don't know why I'm talking like this now, but the spear that went through your fatty tissue, you ripped it out, you stitched it up with a piece of yarn even. You didn't even have the proper threads or fishing line we've got. Needs focus. Okay, so this is the ace of uh, spades in reverse, so ace of wands. Needs focus. Um. That's it. Need, <laughs> you need focus. <laughs> Expansion, inspiration, creative new idea or new new birth. That's what it is. This side says needs focus. Water your seeds. Okay, yeah. So you've been you've been um, getting into the pain. I feel like you've been neglecting something. With everything going on, it's been distracting you from something that's really important. Whether that's just your connection with God, you're so worried about this connection, or again, that could be what they're throwing at you. One, you come back to me, spells and shit like that. Turn to turn to others for help. Need assistance. Unprepared. Now. A lot of people are going to resonate with this differently. So just take it how, when I read it, however you felt, then if it's for you, yes. If Otherwise, it could be someone else going through this, but someone could be going to others for help, right? They need focus. They're tired of the bullshit. End of the pain. Water your seeds. I think the health, their health is what is at stake here. So they're turning to other people. Again, they're finally over hiding this again this could be someone suffering from alcoholism who's been like functioning i feel like someone is finally at that breaking point where they're like i need to do something different and i can't do this by myself or they're not prepared to do this on their own or by themselves Yeah, see, it's like they've got that ability also to be that 144K, but this relationship they have with this negative attachment is keeping them stuck. Period of contemplation. If you or anyone else is suffering from alcohol addiction or any sort of unhealthy attachment, especially relationship, any kind of DV or anything like that, um, I highly suggest you reach out to the proper authorities, get the proper help. 
But if this is just something that you are trying to deal with, that it's just a matter of you making the right choice or you never make the right choice or whatever, you're afraid to get out of this fear again, is that's the devil, right? You know what you need to do, but you're just scared or afraid of what might happen next. God will be there to catch you, right? That's what he means by snare of the fowler, no weapon formed against you. So you're going to that period of contemplation. I feel like someone is now like at the point where they're like, maybe this is my sign. Maybe Johnny Arcade talking about this period of contemplation <laughs> is for me to consider a period of contemplation. So I just, you saw what I did, right? Picked up the deck, split it. So I split it three times. So I released, when I picked it up, the king was revealed. The king of hearts. No... No getting argumentative, no getting, no getting something and argumentative. So again, someone who's just frustrated, I'm getting, um, like, again, they're just so fed up, right? And then, well, underneath it, because I picked it up to show you, is the 10 of uh, cups, low frequency, negative energy, un... In unequal. Unequal, negative energy, I think that's unequal. No, it's... I have no idea what the hell that says. I think it says unequal. What in the world did I do there? I don't know. But again, that and under there is hot mess, wannabe, delusional. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, no getting through. Argumentative. So this is, again, low energy, negative energy, low frequency, hot mess, delusional, right? Going through a period of contemplation. Is it you? Is it me? And what I wanted to show you, I was saying, so when I picked it up, the, this was the card on the bottom of the deck. So the period of contemplation. And then I picked it up and it was the king of hearts. And then in the middle between them was the seven of swords. Swords and pentacles. This could be over money, lies and shit, over money, whatever. But this person is like, is it you? Is it me? Like, they don't even know. Is it the spell work I'm throwing at you being returned back to me? Or is this you sending me sp spell work? Like, what is this? Like, I stopped sending you spell work and now, like, all this shit's happening. Yeah, all the shit you sent is coming back. And that's why like it, it kind of bothers me i hear heal healers and, and work and light workers and stuff saying all this stuff about peace and, and and harmony and moving forward there's not going to be any of this stuff you talk to any of them about god and jesus and righteousness and justice and karmic justice playing out and they get all offended and hot and bothered and how that's not going to be a thing it's like okay well there's a lot of people yourself included, you might be at peace with what happened. That's fantastic. That's where you need to be. But just know that the suffering was not in vain and that there is justice coming. And it's, you know, as far as no one being left behind, everyone, like I said earlier, has that opportunity to switch on a dime. We're all going to hell. That's guaranteed. You can still make it to heaven if you repent if you find deliverance you know what i mean air conditioning kicking on confirmation causing comfort in the room you know what i mean so this person is going through serious period of contemplation about making a change i believe stagnation ill that intentions no ill health no hope stagnation ill health no hope domestic loving patient forceful determined 
So when I see a domestic loving patient, I'm almost getting like this person is literally ill, in ill health, like physically stagnant and feels like there's no hope maybe for their life because when it says domestic loving patient, I feel like this guy is being taken care of by a nurse or something, or it's queen of pentacles, could be a, a woman, a loving patient. And forceful and determined is this jack of swords. So that's like a son. This could be a mother and a son. But there's stagnation. Ill health between this relationship. With this mother and son. No hope between this mother and son's relationship. He's forceful and determined to do something. She's just being loving and patient. Those things don't really... Uh, and get forceful and patient those are completely opposing energies forceful patient determined can be good but this person again with forceful think about someone who's determined to do bad things forcing someone to do something is making them do something against their will even if he's got a silver tongue and he's convincing you to do it he's with the forceful and determined I get like he's going to be very anxious and it's going to be super obvious you know what I mean when it's like what are you what like maybe little outbursts with them being the son of swords little outbursts or their quick unthought of responses their immediate responses it's going to show how determined I'm getting more desperate it might come off as confidence and determination. Maybe the way they talk and carry themselves. How, again, by how forceful they're, like, getting in your face, getting in your bubble. Just try to get, maybe even touching you. Try to get, get a connection. You got to be careful. Those energy vampires, there'll be someone that, even if they just like to touch your leg or, or touch your foot, like, if you guys are just kicking it and it's someone, whenever they're talking, they say certain things, they, like, touch you. It's because they're, taking your energy or they're trying to put their negative energy on you but you don't see is they're probably going like ow <laughs> ow because <laughs> they know what they're up against but they're still trying they're touching the fucking kettle to see how hot you are and they're like oh fuck they can feel it so now they know they got to do something else so just be careful people trying to be all up in your shit you know sit Put on that arm. You don't want the you don't want the spear in your fatty tissue. Alright? We don't want the flesh wound. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> you know what? No. No. Hold on. Scry a little bit and then let's scry and then we'll do some angel numbers real quick. 626, 626, or 266, 662, whatever. Five. Well, no, we'll do six because two sixes came out, so we'll do six dice. So, 662, guys, all right? That's your angel numbers. We've got N T L Lent. What is Lent? Easter, right? Literally Lent. We've got I'm getting malevolent because there's M O Lent. I'm getting malevolent. Um, talent, mole. Someone could be a mole. Um, someone can have a mole or a birthmark. Okay, so on the face of the dice, we've got I, E, R, G as in Gary, S as in Sam, L as in Lisa. We've got T, N, E, L, O, M. So we've got Molar, Greet, Green, Molar, I think I already said Molar, Slow, slow if that M were flipped into a W. Sloan, 
Roland, Ogre, Greet, Grease, I'm, Mio, Morg, Morsel, Mort, Morty, Glenn, Reese, Near, Nolan, Roller, Tolan, Torn, Tree, Trees, Reel, Reels, Tor Torganol, Time, Times, Rhymes, Meyer, Liar, Tire, Tires, Grim, Grims, Girl, Girls, Sledge, Lens, Wren, Rent, Rest, Rome, Omar, Ole, One, We'll leave that there. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this resonated. If it did, I, I, again, I hope we got some, um, again, just new understanding on who or what you or this or these people might be dealing with in this situation. Hopefully it brought some clarity. That's, what, that's all it really is. I bring the new perspective, kind of get the lights on so that you can start putting the pieces together and um, yeah, do the healing. You know, that's what this is about. This isn't about opening up no portal into nothing that we're not supposed to be diving into. Okay, this is what you need to know right now from God, you know? And I'll be careful out there. A lot of readers will say shit like that, but they're just, they're, they're wanting to get you to give them 40 bucks to break the curse off of your, your, your dead great grandmother or whatever. You know, no, do the healing. Don't need no crystal ball, practice Santeria, you know, Sublime will tell you all about it. You don't need to do that. It's within. This is just the burning bush to show you. Go, go to God. Through Jesus is a very good way. Christ consciousness came up, bow, first four cards. The overflowing cup, right? Not like the wine I had at church. Okay, so you'll have a wonderful day. If you ain't heard it today, know that you are awesome. You've got at least one dude out there praying for you. And God bless you and your beautiful families. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. There's um, Palo Santos in there, so it didn't vibrate very long. But I love you all. We'll see you on the next one. Like, subscribe. See you. Peace.